In this tutorial, we'll take a look at how you can make a custom user preset with the Spitfire plugin. Although I'm using Abbey Road 2 for this example, the same technique can be applied to other libraries such as BBC Symphony Orchestra. To begin with, I've opened the cello all-in-one patch, which contains all of the possible techniques that the cello can use in this library. You'll see that because we've loaded every single type of technique, this current preset is consuming quite a high level of RAM. So if we want to decrease the amount of RAM that we're using with the preset and also decrease the time the preset takes to open, we can do this by reducing the amount of techniques that we've loaded and the amount of microphones that we're using. To edit the techniques, you first need to open the technique editor by selecting the pencil icon here. You'll now see that we've got a list of techniques available in the left menu here and in the right menu we can click on the X to remove any techniques that we don't want to use by default. So in this instance I'm going to remove the trills and the salt ponts and I'm also going to remove the measured tremolos. From the menu here I'm going to add in the legato portamento and these are the main techniques that I'm going to use by default whenever I load the library. So now I'm happy with this I can press save and you'll see that the smaller amount of techniques are now loaded into the plugin and the RAM use at the top here has been reduced slightly. However I quite like the legato portamento here to be next to the performance legato. We can move this again by going back to the technique editor, holding down on the technique, and then dragging this next to the performance legato. In addition, the first page of the techniques menu will only display the first eight techniques that we've selected. So I'm gonna make sure that the techniques on the first page are definitely the ones that I'm using most often. For my personal workflow, I'm not gonna be using long harmonics as often as staccato, and I'm not gonna be using the long flautando as often as I would for pizzicato. So I can now press save, to save this new rearrangement. The final thing that you may have noticed is our key switching here is changed, so they're not all in ascending order. If you're using key switching and you want to make sure that each technique is in ascending note order, this can be easily edited using the key switch menu here. So for my own workflow, I'm gonna make sure that the first technique selected here is C minus one. And then the second technique I'm gonna select using note key switching is gonna be on C sharp minus one, which is the next note up. I'm now going to rearrange the rest of the techniques so that they follow in an ascending order. Now that I've finished editing all the key switches, you'll see here that they are now all in ascending order, depending on where the technique is placed in my custom setup here. Finally, as I'm using the professional version, I can also select my preferred microphones that I wish to use. Let's say that for this example, I prefer Mix 2, so I'm gonna make sure that Mix 1 is deselected and I've selected Mix 2 here. We can also edit any effects that you want. So if I'm using an external reverb, I might want to change the reverb in the plugin to zero. Finally, we'll need to save and name this patch. So I'm gonna click on the floppy disk icon here and then give the patch a name that I want. Now you'll see that our patch is available in our preset menu under the user folder here which can be filtered out using the user filter. So this means that if we load a different patch and then reload the user patch, we'll get back all of the techniques that we've loaded in, have all of the effects that we've set applied, and the microphone signal that we want is also selected. If you've got any further questions, please feel free to pop a comment down below. Thanks for watching Spitfire Clips. Let us know if it was too long, too short, too fast or too slow in the comments down below. Hit like if we answered your question and subscribe for more clips, tips, tricks and exclusive Spitfire content.